Okay, let's uh Oh fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Morning everybody, this is uh the video log for the Entercon Southwest, so we're on our way to Tornoon. It's going to take about uh, around about an hour and 50 minutes to get there. But it's always a ritual in the mornings to uh, stop off and get some breakfast first. Oh uh, yeah, can I get a breakfast wrap please? Brown sauce uh, and a black coffee. Okay, cheers, thank you. Lovely, thanks a lot, cheers. Cannot be a McDonald's breakfast. Okay, guys, so we just arrived. Uh, yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes, not a bad drive down. Uh, so let's make our way in. Okay guys, so I finally got one, so this is a Theraphosostermy, so this is a Goliath Bird Eater. Uh, finally pleased to have one in the collection, it is only a sling, uh, I think it's about fifth malt now. Um, I got this from Mark Robson, who was selling at the show, so he's managed to captive breed these. I know they're pretty hard to actually breed in captivity, so ah, congratulations to him for doing that. So I have got just this enclosure here, so this was a... 
for our Roche tub. This is like a bigger one than the normal ones that, you, that I've got for like the arboreal slings. So this is a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Let's get it in. Okay guys, so we're going to get it in now. Hopefully it doesn't bolt too far. It is quite sketchy, so we shall see. I don't know, it's just carrying in. Okay. Let's actually see if, it, if it's hungry. There we go. So that was the only invert I picked up. I did pick up some of these enclosures from Tropical Factory UK. Go check them out on Facebook. I'll do a proper review on them later in another video. So I actually went to fill this enclosure up to put my Grammar Stola pole cripes into it, but it turns out I didn't have enough substrate made up. So instead of making do with what there is, I'm actually gonna, well, I've made some up already. So I'll have to leave it a couple of days to get this video out. So this is the final product. Yeah, it's taken a week longer to actually get this video out than I planned because I didn't have enough substrate. So the enclosure is going to house my Grammar Stola pole cripes. So it's about four inches of substrate at the back. Maybe two at the front. We're going to get a cork bark hide to go. And I've got these plants. From the spider shop. Look a bit like wacky wacky plants. I must admit, yeah, they look pretty cool. So, I'm going to use these for some decoration. All along the back, so that looks pretty cool. It's time to house the spider in there. Okay, so this is what I've had my grammar stolen pole cripes in for since I've got it. It's molted a couple of times now, and now it's a bit too large for this enclosure. So, perfect opportunity to rehouse it into this new one. Now, it is a male. But, oh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm sure I'll find him a girlfriend when he does mature. So, let's, uh... Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Feeding response. What a feeding response that guy's got. So after a change of underpants, it's time to try again. Hopefully he doesn't do the same thing. Come on. Up you go. That's it. Into your new house. 
No, not out of your new house. A nice new enclosure for you. Come. In you go. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.